Are you afraid your dog is going to have a cruciate injury? Or you have patients that you worry about having a cruciate injury depending upon what they do or how they're built? I'm Dr. Lori McCauley with Optimum Pet Vitality, and in this cruciate series, we're going through all kinds of really important information that I've learned over the 30 plus years of working with dogs. And in this short video, we're gonna talk about inflammation, what it looks like, why it's important, and how we can tell on the dog and in radiographs, as well as synovial fluid thinning. So the actual thinning of the joint fluid. There's a very, very sensitive test that you can tell a dog is prone to or predisposition to have a cruciate injury if you don't fix that problem. And once you know the test, not only can you test dogs, but you can also find out when you've gotten rid of that issue. So we're gonna share that. We have more tests for the next lesson. That's what we're gonna to cover today. So let's start with effusion. Effusion is fluid inside the joint. It's inflammation. So the cells on the, out, on the inside of the joint capsule release chemicals that say, hey, there's something going on here. Let's get some chemicals to, to tear things up. And here's our effusion, right? This, this is not supposed to be all pouched out. Here's my femur, here's my patella, here's my tibia, here's my fibula, my cruciate ligament sitting in here. That fluid sits and wraps around those cruciate ligaments, cranial and caudal cruciate ligaments. And what's gonna happen is as they're degrading stuff, bing, 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 little fibrils are gonna pop. And, and if enough fibrils pop, we're gonna have a partial ACL tear or CCL tear. And we can also have a poof where the whole thing just blows. We don't want that to happen. So we wanna find these problems and fix them before they become big problems. So how do we know if there's a fusion? Any dog, if you bend their knee, there's gonna be two bumps. The top one is gonna be the patella, the bottom one is going to be the tibial crest, and between those is the patella tendon, or ligament, depending upon what you wanna call it. And if you put your fingers on either side of that, it should be nice and concave. There shouldn't be any fluid that you can feel, any fluid motion. If there's fluid motion or if it's pooching out, that's a fusion, and that means there's a lot of, of inflammation in there. We wanna catch it way before that happens. Another way to tell if there's inflammation is by taking an X-ray. So this is a normal X-ray, a beautiful X-ray of a healthy dog. Things that we look at, here's my patella, my kneecap, and it's nice and smooth right here. My fabellae behind the knee, that's where the gastroc attaches. It's nice and smooth. I have a fat pad, so here's my patella tendon or ligament, whichever you want to call it. And then behind that, that black area, that's my fat pad, right? Because fat has less density, so it's more black. My top of my, fib uh, my tibia is nice and smooth. Here's a really bad one, okay? Here's my normal one. Let's look at all the different things. Here, I have changes to my patella. Can you see calcification coming down that patella tendon or ligament? I have, instead of a nice big fat pad, I have fluid that's pushing it out. Now my fat pad is smashed right in here. That's all fluid. I have fluid back here pushing out all this fluid. Oh my gosh. And my little cruciate ligaments are sitting in here trying to do their job so much and struggling because of all the inflammation and the degradative chemicals around them. My fabellae, they're not smooth anymore. The top of my tibia, right? It's not nice and smooth. It's thickened, increased pressure. We may even see some little bumpies. That can be calcification in the meniscus because that's where he sits. Now, we may not only see really healthy and really bad. So let's look at some in between. Here's some mild changes. My patella is not bad. I have my fat pad. Oh, but look, I have a little bit of fluid sticking out right here, right? That's my beginning of a fusion. As we come here to more moderate, now I have more fluid here. My fat pad is being pushed. Here's my fat pad. Here's my ligament. Tiny little changes on my patella. Little changes on my fabellae. A little bit of thickening here. And then here's my severe. My little, if you're old enough to remember, we always call it Jimmy Durante's nose, right? It's that calcification coming off the patella. My fat pad is 
just about impossible to see. It's a tiny little black line between my tendon and my fluid, right? I have bumps here on my top of my tibia and my fabella is not very happy. All right, so that is a whole range of things that we can see. Now onto something that hopefully will change your life. Something that you'll go, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. And I can check every dog that comes in and see if they're predisposed to having a cruciate injury. And if so, fix it before it becomes really bad. So we don't get to any of those changes in the fusion. The first thing that happens is we have thinning of the joint fluid. And when the joint fluid thins, that patella is going to rub on the femur. So we're looking for crepitus, but not like that that you're used to feeling. It's very sensitive, very small, and you have to do it right. Most of the time when we think about crepitus, it's between the two main bones. But we have a meniscus here, right? We don't have, we have something that's going to protect us from that, which is good. But our sensitive test is between our patella and our femur. So what are we going to do? We're going to put our hand on the patella and put pressure down. Then we're going to flex and extend by moving the tibia and see if that patella catches. It can attach, catch at the top or in the middle. And you'll just feel that little and you know that that joint fluid is thinned. And if we can do something, we can make it go away. So take a quick look at the video. There you go. I have my palm pushing into it, and then we do flexion and extension. Let's see if we can do that again. There we go. We're going to flex and extend and see if we have any grinding at all felt in our palm. All right. I hope you learned something. I hope you test this on dogs day in and day out. And then if you find it, get them on chondroprotectants right? Something with green lip muscles in it, something to help them build up that fluid so it doesn't lead to the effusion that's going to lead to the cruciate injury. I'm Dr. Lori McCauley with Optimum Pet Vitality. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.